ever feel like there's this uh untapped potential within you yeah like a wellspring of abundance just waiting to be unleashed mm -hmm. we'll get this this book getting into the vortex by esther and jerry hicks okay it dives deep into this idea right. and it's got people buzzing yeah sold out everywhere on day two wow can you believe that that's amazing so today we're exploring excerpts from the getting into the vortex meditation user guide okay to unlock some of these uh powerful insights yeah it's really fascinating because the book emphasizes that you're not just passively listening to meditation right but actively shifting your energy i love that we're talking about tapping into something called the vortex okay not a physical place but a vibrational reality okay i love that not some mystical portal, right. but a state of being. Yes. But how do we even access this vortex? Mm -hmm. The book mentions aligning with source energy. Right. What is that all about? So think of source energy as the truest version of you, already existing within this vortex of infinite potential. Mm -hmm. It's less about like finding this energy. Yeah. And more about aligning with it. Right. The book uses the analogy of a radio. Okay. You've got to tune your dial to the right frequency right. to tap into the abundance that's already there. So we're all walking around with these internal radios then. Yeah. But most of us just haven't figured out how to tune into the right station yet. Exactly. And one of the simplest tools they offer is something we literally do every minute of everyday breathing. Exactly. The book talks about deep conscious breathing okay. as a bridge between our physical and non-physical selves. Mm -hmm. It's like a vibrational boost that helps clear out the static yeah. And fine-tune our connection to this source energy. And speaking of boosts, this book dives right into one of the most sought-after outcomes. Yes. Manifesting abundance. Right. But hold on. Okay. It's not about those vision boards or affirmations we see everywhere. Okay. This is about embodying the feeling of financial well-being. Okay. Even before we see the tangible results. Precisely. Okay. The book encourages us to shift from a mindset of, I want more money. Yeah. To... I feel financially secure and abundant right now. Okay. Imagine abundance as this limitless stream always flowing. Okay. You don't earn it or deserve it. Right. You simply align with it. Okay. Mind blown. So it's not about chasing after abundance. Right. But becoming a vibrational match for it. Yes. But how do we make that shift from a scarcity mindset, especially in a world that often feels like it's designed to make us worry about money? Well, the book suggests that the universe responds not to what we say, okay. but to how we vibrate to our dominant feelings. So our energy. Yes. Yeah. So instead of focusing on lack, mm -hmm. we shift our focus to the feeling of having what we desire, okay. of already being abundant. Already having it. Yes. It's a subtle but powerful shift in perspective. Yeah. It's like tricking your brain into believing you're already swimming in abundance, even mm -hmm. if your bank account hasn't quite caught up yet. Exactly. And this principle of vibrational alignment extends beyond just finances. Okay. The book highlights how our relationships also serve as mirrors, mm -hmm. reflecting our inner world back to us. Oh, this is so relatable. Like when we attract the same type of partner or friend over and over again, right. it's probably showing us something about our own patterns and beliefs. Exactly. Okay. And this is where it gets really interesting. Okay. The book suggests that other people's behavior doesn't actually have the power to negatively affect us. Okay. Unless we allow it. Wait, hold on. Okay. Are you saying that other people's actions don't impact us at all? Not directly. No. Okay. It's about understanding that we get to choose our reactions mm. to decide how we interpret and respond to what others do. Okay. It's about recognizing that everyone is on their own journey. It's like we have this internal filter and we get to choose what we allow to affect our energy. So instead of getting caught up in someone else's drama, we can choose to see it as their journey and focus on keeping our own frequency high. Precisely. And this doesn't mean ignoring problems or pretending everything's perfect. Right. It's about shining a spotlight on the positive, seeing the potential for growth and evolution in ourselves and others. It's about recognizing that inner shift creates outer change. Now, the book delves into specific practices for cultivating this high vibe energy, particularly through meditation. It sounds almost too simple, but they emphasize the power of focusing on your breath. What's remarkable is how they use breath work to quiet the mind and release resistance. Because resistance, those limiting beliefs and doubts, that's what prevents us from aligning with source energy and tapping into the vortex. So it's like our breath is the key that unlocks the door to this limitless potential. Absolutely.
By focusing on the simple act of breathing, we shift from the constant chatter of our minds to the present moment. And in that stillness, in that space of allowing, we begin to align with our true nature, our source energy. It's like hitting the reset button on our energy, creating a clean slate for abundance to flow in. The book also includes a guided meditation recording. What role does that play in the process? Think of the guided meditation as a gentle guide, leading you deeper into that state of alignment. The words themselves aren't magic spells. It's your receptivity to them, your willingness to let go of resistance and embrace the possibility they offer. So it's not about forcing ourselves to believe something we don't, but rather creating space for a new perspective to emerge one that's already aligned with our highest potential. Exactly. And the book suggests that with consistent practice, even just 15 minutes a day, you'll start to notice subtle shifts in your thoughts, your feelings, and even your experiences. You know what I appreciate is that this approach feels joyful and empowering. It's not about struggle or forcing things to happen, but about aligning with our natural state of well-being and allowing abundance to flow into our lives. And that's a crucial point. The book reminds us that our natural state is one of joy, abundance, and love. It's resistance that blocks us from fully experiencing it. So it's like we're already wired for this incredible life. We just have to clear out the mental and emotional clutter that's dimming our light. Precisely. And the book provides a practical framework for doing just that. It addresses a common fear people have around abundance. The idea that there's not enough to go around. Oh, I've definitely felt that scarcity mindset creep in before. Like if someone else is successful, it somehow diminishes my own chances. The book directly challenges that belief, emphasizing that abundance is limitless. It's like an ever-expanding stream. Yeah. There's enough for everyone who chooses to align with it. So instead of a pie that we all have to fight over, it's more like a banquet with endless courses. Sign me up. Exactly. And it goes even further suggesting that when we celebrate the success of others, we actually amplify our own ability to attract abundance. Mm -hmm. It's about moving from competition to collaboration, recognizing that we all benefit when we support each other's growth. It's like this beautiful cycle of abundance. The more we focus on the good that's already present in our own lives and the lives of others, the more we open ourselves to receiving even more good. Exactly. We're all interconnected. And when one of us thrives, we all thrive. Okay, so we've talked about abundance in terms of finances and relationships, but what about our physical well-being? Does the Vortex have any insights to offer in that area? Absolutely. The book emphasizes the undeniable connection between our thoughts, mm -hmm. emotions, and physical health. Yeah. Our bodies are constantly responding to our vibrational frequency. So if we're constantly stressed, worried, or focused on negativity, our bodies will reflect that. Precisely. The book suggests that disease is essentially a dis-ease, a disharmony in our vibrational frequency. Just like aligning with the vortex can attract abundance and fulfilling relationships, it can also promote physical health and vitality. It's like we have this innate capacity for healing and well-being, mm -hmm. but our thoughts and emotions can either amplify or suppress that capacity. Exactly. And the book encourages us to approach physical well-being not just through diet and exercise, but also through cultivating a positive mindset practicing gratitude and aligning with that source energy that is inherently whole and healthy. So it's not just about what we're putting into our bottles, but also about the energy we're cultivating within them. What I'm hearing is that it's this holistic approach to well-being, where our thoughts, emotions, and physical health are all interconnected. You've got it. It's about recognizing that our bodies have an innate intelligence. Yeah. An ability to heal and thrive. Yeah. And the more we can align with that, the more we support our body's natural healing process. Now, I know some people might be skeptical about all of this. They might be thinking, okay, this sounds great in theory, but how do I know it really works? What would you say to those folks? The book encourages a spirit of open-minded experimentation. Don't just take their word for it. Try it yourself and see what unfolds. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the subtle shifts in your energy, your experiences, and your overall sense of well-being. It's about becoming your own scientist, observing the results of this vibrational experiment called life. Now, as much as I'd love to keep exploring this rabbit hole of infinite possibility, yeah. we do want to honor your time and wrap up this deep dive. Okay. But before we go, there's one more gem from this book that really struck me. It's this idea that life is meant for conscious, aware, joyous living. Such a powerful reminder. Yeah. It's about savoring the journey. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Not just racing towards some distant finish line. Exactly. Finding joy in those everyday moments, yeah. the simple things, the connections we share. Right. That's what truly makes life rich. Mm -hmm. It's about embracing it all, you know, yeah. the ups and the downs. Right. Knowing there's always something to be grateful for, something to celebrate. And that shift in perspective can be 
truly transformative, no matter what challenges we face. Right. It's about aligning with that frequency of joy, allowing it to permeate every aspect of our experience. Speaking of perspective, what really resonated with you from these excerpts? You know, the emphasis on personal responsibility truly hit home for me. Okay. It's about recognizing the power we each possess to choose our thoughts, mm -hmm. our feelings, and ultimately to shape our own reality. Right. Not blaming external circumstances or other people. Yeah. But stepping into that role of conscious creator. That's so key. It's easy to slip into victim mode. Right. But this whole vortex concept reminds us that we're far more powerful than we often realize. Exactly. We always have a choice in how we respond to challenges. Mm. Even in the midst of difficulty, there's a seed of possibility. Yeah. A chance for growth and transformation. It's about finding that glimmer of light, even in the darkest of times, and fanning it into a flame. Yes. And as we do that for ourselves, we inevitably light the way for others, too. Beautifully said. Remember, the universe is always responding to our energy. Mm -hmm. The more we cultivate joy, gratitude, love, abundance, huh. the more we attract those very qualities into our lives. Right. It's a self-perpetuating cycle of positivity. And the really beautiful thing is it's not just about personal gain. Right. It's about contributing to a larger shift, okay, so. raising the vibration of the planet as a whole. Precisely. Our, energy, our vibrations are constantly interacting with the world around us. When we consciously choose to align with those higher frequencies, we become catalysts for positive change on a collective level. We're not just drops in the ocean. We are the ocean. Wow. And together we have the power to create a tidal wave of love, abundance, and joy. What a powerful image. Yeah. The more we embrace that interconnectedness, yeah. the more we tap into the limitless potential that exists within each and every one of us. Well said. Now, before we go, we want to leave you with a question to ponder. Okay. If your thoughts create your reality and you have the power to choose those thoughts, what reality will you choose to create today? Let that question be your guide as you move through the world today. Mm -hmm. And remember, the journey of aligning with the vortex of stepping into your full potential is an ongoing exploration. Right. Be kind to yourself, stay curious, and never underestimate the power you possess to create a life filled with joy, abundance, and limitless possibilities. We couldn't have said it better ourselves. If this deep dive has piqued your interest, definitely check out Getting Into the Vortex by Esther and Jerry Hicks, along with the accompanying meditation recording. You might be surprised at the shifts you experience. It's a journey worth taking. Dive in with an open mind and a heart full of possibility. And as always, thank you for joining us on this deep dive. Until next time, keep exploring, keep expanding, and keep shining your light.